lay out everything on the table, the clean table, get ready, put in rich, ready to use, so no more time delay. Uh, wash your hand real good with the 99.9% uh, germ-free uh, hand sanitizer, or wash your hand with the soap and warm water for at least 15 seconds then dry your hand with the green towels and then put the uh, ex exam uh, gloves on size large for me provided by the hospital and now everything on the tabletop with the clear paper towel within reach, everything open, ready to use. Actually, the uh, silver strip needs to be cut uh, to the right length for the wound. This is the silver strip. Uh, it basically is silver that will observe. Once you put it in, it will observe, uh, observe any bacteria from the wound. So I need to cut up. Um, a couple of silver strip to the right to the length for the two wound. It's okay to cut it uh, uh, a, a little bit longer. Um, it better be long than short. handle everything with absolute sanitized manner okay put this this is the silver strip cut it to the right length Now, carefully remove the old dressing. Use one finger to hold out the skin and the other two finger on the other hand to pull up the adhesive tape of the so-called tachyderm. You see tachyderm that hold out the, uh, the, gut, the dressing or the gauge. Okay, so I'm putting up the tachyderm of the small wound first because the small wound is on the top of the other one. Yes, it is here with stick real tied to the skin, so I have to hold the skin down. So make it easy to pull up the adhesive tape otherwise it will be too 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 painful on the skin just work my way around on the way around if I can the whole finger hold the skin down and the other two finger on the other hand pulling up the uh, adhesive tape slowly not too fast not too fast
and put the dirty old dressing in the trash can. And there's a two deep wound on the chest with the old dressing or the old silver. Now, gently and carefully remove the old silver if it can come up easily. There the old silver. You can see the silver is sucking up the bacteria from the wound. As you can see, the deep wound uh, in the center, the long wound in the center is healing, closing up. The opening is closing up because it's farther away from the uh, shoulder and arm that being used every day. So, less pressure and strain on the muscle, on the tissue, so that the longer center wound healings and closing up the gaps or the, the ditch or the, the canal. And here I'm about to remove the dressing or silver of the other wound. And like you can see, it won't come up real easy. I don't want to pull it, so I'm going to use the gauge to wet it and with the uh, saline solution. So, make it easy to remove. Uh, apply more saline solution uh, fluid to make it wet. Squeeze some fluid into the bone to make it make the uh, the old resin come loose. I don't want to pull it because I don't want to make it bleeding. There. You can see the bacteria. You can see the bacteria in the womb. The bacteria is sucked up by the sucked up by the silver from the womb. Bacteria from the womb sucked up by the silver. Uh, I need some more white gauge uh, wet it with the uh, uh, sodium chloride solution for cleaning up the wound.
clean, cleaning up the whole area, the whole chest, the womb and the surrounding area of the womb. As you can see, the wound near the shoulder is much deeper. It won't heal, it won't close up the, the ditch or the canal because constant movement of shoulder and arm every day. So it takes longer to heal. So I'm cleaning the wound. See? As you can see, the center wound, the bigger wound is healing and closing up and dry, but the small wound near the shoulder and arm is still open and wet, uh, not healing as fast. Now let the, let the skin dry and then the next thing is these are dirty clothes after cleaning remove the dirty clothes and put in a new pair before apply the new dressing okay get the new pair of clean clothes from the box and put them on and make sure not touching anything My side large. It's it just right. It's the exempt clothes come from the box provided by the pharmacy. Now I got a new pair of clothes and I'm ready to apply the new silver resting okay now carefully okay go ahead and put the new silver on the small wound to cover the into the canal, the wound canal, like that. But because this is a deeper wound, so I want to double the silver. I want to double the silver. I want to double the silver. And then for the small wound, I got the new gauge, white gauge, and by a quad folded. Quad folded. Okay. And get the, it's called tagadum. Remove the. Uh, uh oh, what happened? It's not the right one.
Yeah, put the... Uh... Working. Got the new one. Okay, quad phone beam. Quad phone the new white new white white gauge on the tachyderm and put over the wound and then put out the tape, put out the cover so you can tape it up. Like that. Make sure it doesn't cover the other the other wound yet. So just tap it down, run the finger on the way I wrap grid to, to pull, tap down the adhesive tape like that. Now that done. Put the silver strip on the long silver strip on the other wound into the wound canal. Okay, and get the another tachyderm ready for the. Big one.
for the big room, I only buy for the, the, the guards, not quite. Buy from the guards. No, this, this. It's not working. They take it down too small for the big one, so throw it away. Go get the new one. If I can. Oh, they're all the same. So let's try again. Yeah, take it down. Kind of small for the big one. So I figured out how to. Uh, get the. Uh, Now, it's too long, so I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter. Okay, so this should be long enough for the big wall. So I'm going to put it on here, like that. Hope it will stay, I'm not sure. And then put the packet on. Make sure the seal will stay in the canal and put the gauge on. And put that seal ticket on. Okay.
We burn the finger on the way around. Like that. The tacky dum, it hits you tacky dum, so you told the dressing in the, the, the silver and and the gag the the the, the, the gauge in place for the next until the next uh, for the next three days until the next uh, dressing change on this chat room. And this is what I have to do it every three days until four more weeks to go. This is one of the wound dressing. And then now I finish. So I just uh, clean up, throw on the trash away, everything in the trash can. Uh, and you see the sodium chlorine, a chlorine uh, water, fluid or water for cleaning the wound and also body yeah uh, I didn't have to use any uh, alcohol pad I didn't have to use any uh, q-tip because the uh, um, silver, silver strip come up real easy so I, I had to poke it with a q-tip so I throw the q-tip away and uh, I do need to uh, sanitize the, uh, the, the scissor, scissor, scissor tip before I put it away. Yeah. Yeah. And put it back in the that tip back. Keep it to keep the the tab scissor sanitized. There. Yeah. Now, the last thing to do is just uh, clean the table top, take all the uh, trash, table top trash, go to the trash can, and remove the gloves. And now, I just successfully finish uh, the Jet wound dressing change for today, Wednesday, and it do in the next three days, which is Thursday, Friday, will be Saturday, will be do it again. I hope you can see how I nurse myself on the jet wound. And my arm, you can see this is the pig line, and this is where I inject my antibiotic every day. Maybe I can show you the video on how I do that later tonight. Thank you.